Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel guys. Today is our Inspiration Monday. So to, as miracle, no, they tired Jesus. Now so bad news, no, they tired devil. Okay? To make us feel that we are not going to succeed in life. Like, okay, that brings me to the topic of today. I want to talk about fear. How you can navigate fear. Things that you need to do to get rid of fear. Things that will help you know that, yes, no matter what the devil does, no matter what the devil happens to do, no matter how the devil is planning it, that God is bigger than him, okay? Spirit of fear is something that can literally rip you off your blessing if you're not careful enough. For instance, now, let me just use myself as an instance. When I was in uni, so many things happened during exam period. I would literally go into the exam period, write my exam. At the end of the day, I would be panicky. I do read. I wrote very well. They don't tell me, why am I, why am I developing this spirit of fear? Where is it coming from? This spirit of fear happens to everyone, even the elderly one. What are we going to do to navigate or to get through this spirit of fear is what I'm going to tell us today. Um, anytime you feel like you're feeling so over overwhelmed, you are scared, the, this anxiety is increasing, fear is all over you, just pray. Prayer liberates you from spirit of fear. If you don't pray, spirit of fear will just be your partner. Do you know that before good thing happens to you, devil already sees it. Before that, your testimony, devil sees it. That is why he normally comes with spirit of fear to elude you, to make you feel like it's not going to happen. Maybe you are sick. A uh, doctor have tell you, okay, this and this is what will happen. You are going to uh, um, surgery will happen. This and that will happen before you get your normal self again. Even before that surgery, you, you have already died. So my dear, I don't want you to die before your time. All I need you to do is to pray always. I hear some people say that praying is not easy. My dear, there is nothing easy in this life. Nothing. Nothing is easy in this life. So always pray and remember, God, please help me out of this prayer of fear. If you're pregnant, know that you're going to give birth successfully. If you're going through that surgery, whatever you are going to, even that exam, you're going to be successful in life. Don't panic about the future. Don't allow the devil to take hold of you. And you know what this devil does? He will make you to have that spirit of fear. Even the literal things that you have to do, you know, just like when you have an exam to write, that spirit of fear will come. Now nah, this exam is too much. Oh. Ha! I heard a lot of people failing this exam. Am I going to succeed? Is it going to work for me? Even before the exam. And when that spirit of fear comes inside of you, you will find it so difficult to read. Like, even when you bring chapter 1, you'll be like, Hi, this chapter 1 is too much. Oh. This chapter 2 is too much. Oh. That's what the spirit of fear does. Even when you are pregnant, the devil will be like tormenting you. You're not going to give birth. You are going to do this. You are going to go through this. Uh, surgery this, surgery that. You'll be reminding yourself, hi God. And I'm still in face. First month of my pregnancy. First trimester of my pregnancy. Am I going to read second trimester? Am I going to read the third trimester? Am I even going to give birth? And I'm telling you in this video, you see that baby you are carrying on your womb. You will give birth to that baby and you're going to be alive. So 2 Timothy, we are going to be taking the word of God from the book of 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. It says, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. What am I saying here? It's not my word. It's the word of God. God, God said that he has already given us, he has given us power and the power of self-control. And not of fear. He said it. He said, For God gave us spirit, not of fear, but power and self control. That is the word of God. Thanks be to God Almighty for this word today. Like, you know that before your testimony, Satan sees it. Before your miracle, Satan is only aware of it because he always did. To always bring back to back sicknesses, diseases, spirits of fear to make us feel that we are not going to succeed in life. Like you are in a situation, maybe you have finished taking the exam countless times, you are not making it, you have done so many things. That spirit of fear will be like, maybe at the point where you will try the last one and it will work, spirit of fear will come and be, 
I don't think I'm going to do this. I'm scared. I'm not going to write this exam again. I'm scared of hearing bad news. I'm scared. I'm not going to get pregnant again. I'm scared about this. I'm scared about that. That is the work of the devil. When that your breakthrough at is that the point of you getting it, Satan will always come back again and again to rip you off that blessings of God. But we are rejecting it here in Jesus' name. Amen. So guys, today I just want to encourage you, don't kill yourself before the day of your breakthrough. Don't give devil a chance to elude you. I know that it's not easy as I'm saying it here, but with prayers, you will get rid of it. Devil will always come and tell you, are you sure that you're going to make it? Whenever this thought comes through your head, bind it out and cast it. The only thing that can help you out of that fear is prayer. Listen to the word of God. I don't know the problem that you're facing. I don't know the situation that you're in. I don't know what it is, but what I'm trying to tell you is that God is with you. He said that he always there for us. So as God be for us, who can be against us? Let it be your confidence. Let it be your courage. So never give up. You see yourself being happy again. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. At this point, I'm going to say a very big thank you for watching, liking, and also sharing my videos. I really, really appreciate you guys. Please never forget to come back again to watch my video. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Like, share, and also comment. Let me know my family. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And just know that Jesus loves you more. Okay? Bye.